So the topic here is how to analyze four parts, and specifically, so it comes from the grade five paper, Trinity. They give you something like this, and they say, which cadence is it, right? So the, it has to do with analyzing this, and analyzing four part, and how do you do that? But it also has to know with how to do the cadences, okay? So over here, you've got four main categories of cadences, okay? Perfect five to one. Bam, bam. That's that okay. final cadence. At the end of the story, they got married and they're happy. Plagal, you got this. Amen. We also call it the Amen cadence. It's got that sound in it. Okay. So over here, the priest um, became the man became a priest, and his cadence is Amen. Okay. Just a, a little joke. Okay, listen. <laughs> Okay, so remember to listen for Amen. Okay, over here, interrupted, you had this story, Malaka, I, I won't repeat it on video, but basically, they were happily married, and then he started to mess her around. And then went, uh, uh, <laughs> wait, Amen, oh, 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 my goodness, okay. Na -da. But we're not resolving back to one, so it's got that interrupted sound. Sorry, my singing's not so great today. Sorry. And then imperfect is the opposite of perfect. So op perfect, bam, bam, like that, right? Now you're going, bam, 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 and that's what's going to happen next. You got that? Mm -hmm. Okay, but look here, we discovered that these chords can also precede this chord. So you can go one, two, or four. Remember, we don't use three. Okay, so three's out. So as long as as long as you're ending up on the five chord, it's an imperfect. Okay, so the first thing you've got to do is you've got to memorize that. Do you think you guys know them? Yeah. You like it? You know them. Okay. You've got to know the names, you've got to know the progressions. Okay. So moving to the next part here. So the first rule of analyzing something is in four part is going back to the triad. What is the triad? We got that. Okay, so watch. If so, work two, backwards. Let's have work backwards. Work, okay, wait, I first want to show you something. There's another aspect here. What key am I in? So you look here for the key, key signature, right? And there's nothing there. So you've always got two options, C major and minor. So it could be C major, A minor. A minor, right? So you go to your key line drawing that I, sh I showed you, and then what you'll do is you'll say, oh, there's nothing there. It could be C major or A minor. If it's A minor and a minor key, there's a thing that happens that makes a difference. What is that? Ray seven. The ray seven. There's nothing. Okay. So a little flag must go off in your head with minor. Oh, wait a bit. There's a ray seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, it also has implications for the dominant chord. Do you remember that? The middle yeah. note of the dominant chord is raised because it's the leading note. Okay, so watch. If it's A minor, Daniel, if it's A minor, what are you looking for here? Right, yeah. what would it be? A, so you've got like this A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G, yeah. yeah. So the G would be raised, right? So you look for a G here and you say, there's the G. But it's got nothing on it. So we are definitely in C major. Okay. Does that make sense? Definitely in C. Okay. So so these are just the different components to this question. You've got to say to yourself, what are the cadences? You've got to say to yourself, I need to get it into triadic position and I need to, I need to know what the key is, right? So remember, and, it, and it's coming back to this. Remember that you've got this, what's called a diatonic, which means in the key, diatonic set of chords, okay? And these are your initial triads. These are the triads that make up your song or make up your composition. And remember, we literally only use five of them, okay? Chord one, chord two, chord four, chord five, chord six. And remember, these are primary triads, okay? And these yeah. are secondary triads, you remember that? Yes. And remember, primary triads are major, even though it's a major key, Within the key, you have a major triad, major triad, major, and these are minor, yeah. right? And then the next step here is that Trinity wants, in grade 5, wants you to know that this is a C guitar chord or keyboard chord, and this is a D minor, this is an F, this is a G, this is an A minor. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so watch, so watch. Great. Right, when you analyze them, 
you're going to take it because, guys, I read in this clef and in this clef. I play bass guitar and I read in this clef, and I, I play sax and I read in this clef. So, so I'm reading this like a book. I'm going, there's an E, there's a G, there's a B, there's a C. But you guys are not. And that, half of that thing is slowing you down. I mean, that problem is slowing you down. Okay, so, so watch. You're going to take your pencil on the paper and you're going to go G, B, G, D. And the reason is you're going to try and analyze this chord, but once you've looked at it, you're going to forget and start mixing them up. That's what I did when I was at school. Okay, so now what you've got to do is you've got to put G, B, G, D into a triad. That's the first rule. G, B, D. So on your rough piece of paper, just go, there's a G, there's a B, there's a G, there's a G. And what you're looking for is either line, 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 or space, space, space. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Ava? Quickly. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind just messaging Nan and asking if she can input the last bit for us? Okay, great. So, GBD, right? So now you know your triad. You got that? Yeah. Okay, Malika, moving on. Now you're going to go C, C, G, and E. And then you're going to go on your rough piece of paper. So what I really want you to do in this Trinity exam coming up is to have a rough piece of paper with you. If they don't provide it, ask them. Say, I need a, a, a rough piece of manuscript, okay? So you got C. You put your C somewhere, let's say middle C. And you got a C. You got two of them. And then you got G. And then you got E, right? Like a look. You need to look. Okay. Do you see that? So you got C, E, G. So now you go back to your diatonic triad and you say, which one is it? It's that simple, guys. You're going back to the triad, you're going back to your set of chords, and your set of chords are in the key. And you know what the key is. Okay, yeah. so watch. Wait, I need your full attention. This is for Ava. I know, but push send. <laughs> Let me know when you're done. Because this is our question we're struggling with at the moment. Push send. Yes. So I want to be on the trip and voting for the other person to be there. Oh, my video's running now. And there's a fly. What is this message about? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, so watch. Done that. Done that. Done that. So line, line, line. Line, line, line. So that is your triad. So if you look here, which triad is this? Which one is it? If you need to speak, I'll call you. Oh, five. Okay, five. All right. I can't see your hand movement. And I. Okay, and this perfect. one, one, right? Perfect. Okay, so you got a perfect cadence. Have you got the process? It's so much easier. Okay, but now you're going to do the next one. Oh, no. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so. Um, okay, I think we can stop rolling there. So do you understand, guys? Yeah. That's, that's all the components you have to look at.